Okay, changes of state, remember this is um, like when water freezes, water melts, or any kind of um, substance freezes, melts, evaporates, condenses. So a solid going to a liquid, solid to liquid, um, that is a melting. Liquid going to gas, that's evaporating, like if you left a cup of water out on a hot day. Gas to liquid, that's condensing. So that's like the mist that you get on a window. Liquid to solid, that's freezing. When you put liquid water in the freezer, it goes from being a liquid to being a solid. Okay, um, here we've got some ice and uh, it's at room temperature around here. So this is going to be like 36 or 20, between 25 degrees about 25 degrees Celsius at room temperature um, and so the ice is going to melt because it's not in the freezer anymore what is the melting point of water it is always zero degrees Celsius now you might think oh no but that is the the what temperature water freezes at well that's exactly right we go from liquid water to solid water freezing at zero degrees Celsius but we can go back the other way and it's going to be the exact same temperature zero degrees Celsius same thing when we boil water the water goes from being a liquid into being a gas at a hundred degrees Celsius and likewise it will go from being a gas in the air to being a liquid okay that condenses also at the same temperature kate made some more ice cubes from salt solutions she used a different amount of salt in each ice cube so here's what she did she put five grams in some 10 grams in others 15 grams in others and 20 grams they melt at different temperatures. So she finds out that this one, the five gram, melts at negative four degrees Celsius, and the 20 melts at negative 15. So as the mass of salt increased, what happened to the temperature at which the ice cube melted? The temperature decreased. We're looking for patterns. We're describing a pattern. 